the weight loss industry comes up with a new diet every now and then. With so many weight loss diets out there, to choose the best one for you could be challenging. But don't worry, to make things simpler for you, I went deep into all the popular weight loss diets and have ranked them from worst to best. So which is the best diet for weight loss or rather fat loss? Let us find out. I will also share with you what diet I follow to stay in shape. This video is in association with Nutrabox, unflavored whey protein powder and curcumin dietary supplement. Well, more about that later. Now let's get started with the video. On the basis of practicality, effectiveness, health and pricing, I have categorized all the popular weight loss diets into three categories. Starting with category number one which includes military diet and the GM diet. Both of these diets aim at short term rapid weight loss. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to call them punishment rather than a diet. But these appeal to people as they promise substantial weight loss in as little as one week. No doubt even the success rate is pretty high as the water weight of the body flushes out. However, it's a short-term success as hardly anyone can follow these starving diets for long. The weight returns back as quickly as it was lost, sometimes even more. Since these diets are very strict and specific about the food and portion size, the only positive about them or any such diet that I can think of is that it might help somebody to get disciplined about eating habits. But overall, the approach is faulty. It's nothing more than straining your body to gain almost nothing. Rather, it can lead to sluggish metabolism, hair fall and body weakness. Stay away from such crash diets as they lack the concern for proper nutrition. Category number two includes the high protein paleo diet, low carb Atkins diet and high fat diets like the keto diet. The problem with these diets is that they are highly restrictive. They either miss out on any one major macronutrient or stress too much on another macronutrient. For example, the paleo diet which is also referred to as hunter gatherer diet cuts grains, legumes, dairy completely out of the diet and stresses too much on meat. Not only the excess protein will overload your kidneys but this meat based diet will rip your pockets as well. The low carb diet like the Atkins diet restrict grains, legumes, even fruits and vegetables in your diet. Similarly, the ketogenic diet stresses 80% of the diet from fats, 15% from protein and only 5% from carbs. When you adopt high protein, low carb or ketogenic diets or any such diet, you do lose weight quickly but these diets create an imbalance in the body. Carbs are often projected as villains. But we must understand that no carbs means no fiber and no fiber diet results in constipation. All the three carbs, proteins and fats are non-negotiable for proper functioning of the body. Even missing out on trace minerals causes the body to suffer, let alone major macronutrients. Doing so, you are bound to face nutritional deficiencies, your performance drops, hormonal balance is disturbed, skin and face loses luster, even the immunity weakens. A balanced diet is the best. However, some of these diets were designed for a more important use case. For example, the ketogenic diet was introduced by modern physicians in 1920s for the treatment of child epilepsy. As for the low-carb fat diets, it's evident that they originated in the West and became popular. And rightly so because if you have a close look at the general diet of Western people, they mostly eat refined grains like breads, donuts, muffins, pasta, pizza, etc. So going low-carb meant cutting down on these nutrients devoid refined grains. However, it comes with side effects. On the other hand, Indian diet comprises mostly whole grains which are rich in fiber and do not deprive of nutritional value. So eat your carbs. It has hundreds of functions to perform in the body. Now before I move on to the best category, here are a few dishonorable mentions. The dishonorable mentions include all those diets which deprive you of food or make you eat only one type of food. Be it the watermelon diet, the cauliflower diet, juice diet, the the carnivore diet, the cookie diet, seriously there are tons out there in the market. These diets are structured from a very surface level approach and are a strict no-no. Coming back to the category number 3 which includes the best diet in my opinion, intermittent fasting. Actually it's more like an eating pattern where you fast for 16 hours and eat in a window of 8 hours. What makes IF ideal is that it respects the two important cycles in the human body. The elimination phase and the building phase. In the elimination phase, the body detoxifies, cleanses, repairs, rejuvenates itself. Whereas in the building phase, your body 
is receptive enough to assimilate the nutrients properly. So if you eat well, it rebuilds itself. Research has shown that intermittent fasting significantly reduces insulin, the fat storing hormone, and increases the growth hormone that increases muscle mass. 16 hour fast, however, might seem like a daunting task at once, but today there is sufficient evidence to prove that hunger hormone is very adaptive and in just four days the hunger pangs reduce until it's no more an issue. Another research showed that if a person changed his eating window from 16 hours to 11 hours but ate the same amount of food, it reduced more weight in the latter case. Also, we must understand that fasting comes naturally to us. For example, while we are sleeping at night for 7 to 8 hours, our body is fasting. It's eliminating toxins. Yes, it gives a whole lot of signs of successful detoxification in the morning. However, one may start with a 12 hour fast and gradually build up to 16 hours. IF although might seem like a new age diet, but we Indians have always been following a similar or I should say a more advanced version of it the Ayurvedic diet. In IF, the eating and fasting window is decided by you, whereas in Ayurvedic diet, these windows are decided by the nature. Yes, the time period between the sunrise and sunset is your eating window and all the other times you are on a fast. It is in this window that you can place your main meals in a balanced fashion as per your body type. This is because our digestive capabilities are decided by the sun. When the sun is at its peak, our digestion is at its best. And when the sun begins to set, our digestion slows down. The only thing however allowed post sunset is milk which also induces sleep. How smart is that? Even I follow this Ayurvedic diet placing two meals in the eating window and a glass of milk at night. Here I would also like to talk about OMAD one meal a day diet. It's nothing but an advanced version of IEF where the eating window is further reduced. As long as you are eating one proper balanced meal, OMAD is extremely healthy for a body. But before you get on with it, Ayurveda warns that this progression from eating three to four meals in a day to one meal a day must be done slowly over a period of few years. If you suddenly jump to one meal a day, you won't be able to sustain it and that won't serve any purpose. And if you think that one meal a day hampers productivity, Twitter CEO Mr. Jack Dorsey is a prime example. But again, the progression has to be slow and smooth. To conclude, crash diets like GM and military are the worst of all. The highly restrictive diets that miss out on major macronutrients or press on eating one macronutrient in excess are bound to cause long-term health problems. Intermittent fasting is an intelligent way to eat. The Ayurvedic diet is even better. Both IF and Ayurvedic diets are quite easy to implement and are also cost-effective. One balanced meal a day is great but the progression has to be slow and smooth. Overall, nothing can beat a well-balanced diet designed for your individual body type. A diet should not be a short-term thing, it should be a lifestyle. When you eat this way, your body gets properly nourished and fat loss is just a positive side effect of it. Found this video helpful? Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are looking for an authentic whey protein to fulfill your daily protein intake, Nutrabox Health Essentials Raw Whey Protein Concentrate is one good option. Since it is unflavored, it does not have any artificial sweeteners or flavors added in it. You can have one scoop of it in water post-workout which will give you 24 grams of protein. You can also check out their curcumin piperin capsules which promise to increase the immunity and more. The ingredients of this product are safe and have no added colors or flavors. Do consult your doctor before consuming it. To buy Nutrabox, Health Essentials, Raw Whey Protein or Curcumin Capsules, click on the link down in the description box. So friends, that's all for this video. You can now support my work on Patreon so that I can bring more well-researched videos for you. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram where I regularly do Q&A sessions. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.